Uh, I guess just to start off, what was it like to get to play in an environment like that, at number six Oklahoma? Um, it was definitely different, like really different, uh, having that big crowd like that. It didn't intimidate me or anything, because at Kansas State, I feel like I was more intimidated at home than being away, but nah, it, it was a different environment. I really enjoyed it a lot, though. It was nice. What, what was it like for you guys on defense tonight? You get a 14-point lead early from your offense. They kind of push back, but you guys seem to kind of find your footing there. What what was the night like, and what was kind of the conversations with all your coaches? Like? Um, it was really all due to our game plan, especially with Coach Clamman. Uh, we had a great, uh, great game plan going into it with that first half. We just knew what they were doing, seeing pitchers, hitting it fast. And then, yeah, they were they came out with some different things that we hadn't prepared for, but Coach Klanerman, Coach Cardulis, Ted, Madison, all those guys just helped us draw it all up and figure out different ways to stop it in the second half. What, what was the celebration like in the locker room afterwards? It was amazing. Coach uh, Coach Kleinman almost lost his breath, but it was definitely amazing. Uh, it was something that I'm happy that I was a part of. You guys go through the loss to Tulane last week and bounce back with a win like this. What was the, the situation like this week for everybody, whether it was off Offense, defense, or just the team as a whole? Uh, we already had our chip on our shoulder just because OU is uh, ranked number six in the nation. You know, they're going to think that we're like nothing just coming in. This is going to be an easy win, especially them coming off a win from Nebraska and us losing to Tulane. So we just came in with a chip on our shoulder, really two chips, and just to prove everybody wrong like we did today. How did you guys keep turning them away at midfield in that second half? Uh, really just effort. I'm going to say that. Our game plan was great, but it was just really effort. Everybody flying around to the ball and uh, just trying to wrap up, running through their leverage. I mean, we had a few mental errors and missed tackles and stuff like that that we need to fix, especially me. <clears throat> but just running through the ball and uh, showing our effort, I feel like it drained them. How did you guys, A, how did they get open on you in the first half, and B, how did you go about fixing it? Uh, they just came out with a few trick plays, like slow goes to the boundary. You would think like third and four, they're going to do quick game, but they ended up doing slow goes and they would get open off stuff like that. Or maybe just Dovers running from the boundary to the field. Just little stuff like that in our zones. And I felt like Klanerman and Cardulis and those guys helped us draw it all up and get it fixed in the second half. Kobe, is this the most fun you've ever had playing football? Uh, I'd say Pee Wee was really fun because we won a Super Bowl. But no, nah, it was definitely fun being out here at OU. I've always dreamed of playing against OU and big schools like that. But I've always hated OU too, so I'm happy we won. Do you feel like now that you guys have picked up that first win against a really good opponent, this is just going to be a spring springboard for you the rest of the year? Oh, for sure. But we're still going to come in with chips on our shoulders as an underdog. Uh, climbing does a really good job with that, not keeping us too high or too low, just keeping us level and coming into the game, just over prepared. How did you guys go about just bouncing back from last week's loss? Uh, really, it started off coming in on Sunday, everybody getting treatment and recovery. It was, it was a dead silence, but you could tell everybody was working hard. And uh, Monday, you could just tell practice was different. We were on grass. Our scouts were going way, way harder than they normally did. And they were just giving us great looks. We were thudding harder. Just everything was just sound and perfect. And you could just tell we were coming in with a different mindset.